Hey Jordan here, welcome back. So we're working on our site settings in Kajabi and in today's lesson we're going to be going over the payment integration. So this is going to allow us to connect our account to popular payment providers like Stripe and PayPal. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this and um, you have the option of integrating PayPal or Stripe. So uh, today I'm going to show you Stripe. Um, I like Stripe because it uh, automatically deposits it into your bank account. Um, and it has lower fees than PayPal. Uh, but if you like PayPal, you could connect that too. So I'm just going to walk you through the Stripe uh, integration. So let's click Connect. Okay, it says Connect with Stripe. Kajabi's partner with Stripe to provide your site the easiest way to accept credit cards online. Pick one of the options below to connect your site to a Stripe account. So either I have a Stripe account or I don't have an account with Stripe. So I don't have one. So I'm going to go ahead and click I don't have an account with Stripe. Okay, and then it pulls up this application. So it says, Kajabi would like you to start accepting payments with Stripe. Take a minute to answer a few questions and then you'll be ready to go. Kajabi will have access to your data and can create payments and customers on your behalf. So it says, activate your account. We need to learn more about you and your business before you can process payments on Stripe. Except where noted below, the information you provide will only be visible to the account owner and administrators. Okay, so let's just go through this real quick. So, our business details, country, United States. Then I'm going to put in my business address. Then I'm going to put in my business phone. Okay, so when you get to the type of business, you have uh, the choice of corporation, individual, sole proprietor, single member, LLC. So if you haven't actually set up a business, uh, you would go with individual um, or you have limited liability company. So an LLC, nonprofit or partnership. So in my case, I'm actually an LLC, um, but if you haven't set up uh, your business, you could be an individual or sole proprietor. So I'm gonna go with LLC and fill in uh, my company information. I'm gonna put in my employer identification number. Okay, then I'm gonna put in my website. Okay, next we're on to business description. So we're gonna select our industry um, so typically what I do is I would go down, click on digital products, and then um, I would go to blogs and written content uh, since we're going to be selling uh, like courses. And then in the next box, we're going, to, we're going to describe what we sell, who we sell to, and when you charge your customers. Okay, so I put in, I sell digital travel courses to people who like to travel. I charge my customers when they decide to purchase a course on my website. How long after paying will your customers typically receive their goods or services? So uh, within one day, this account should be activated by someone authorized to sign on your organization's behalf. If that's not you, please ask the right person to complete this form. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in uh, my information. Do I own 25% or more of the business? Yes. What percentage do I own? 75%. Do you have a significant responsibility for managing the company? For example, are you a CEO? Yes date of birth, last four of my social, then my home address. Okay, so I put in my home address and now uh, credit card statement details. This information may appear in your customer's credit card statement. You can change it at any time. So the statement uh, descriptor, this is the business name that will show up on your customer's bank or credit card statements. Choose something they will recognize to help prevent disputes. So we'll put Jordan outside. The support phone number. Okay, and then I need to set up the two-step authentication. And then I'm gonna go ahead and send text. So then you want to download or uh, copy this uh, two-step authentication code and click done. And then the last step is to enter your email and create a password. And then I'm going to authorize access to this account. Okay, and now it's saving. It says Stripe account successfully connected. 
Okay, so now we have our payments set up. So as we start to uh, collect payments through memberships or digital courses, um, those payments will start to show up here. So we're gonna go back to settings. And now you'll see that we have our, um, our payment integration set up. So if you click on this, so you see that our Stripe account is set up and now instead of connect, it says view, and we still have the option to connect a PayPal account. So if you wanted to do that, you'd click connect. Um, you'd put in your PayPal account email, uh, the client code, the secret code, and then uh, go ahead and save that. But in this case, I'm not going to use PayPal. I'm just going to use Stripe. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to click the settings back. And so now we've gone through the payment integrations and we have our Stripe account set up and ready to go. Uh, so we can start building out membership courses um, after we've built out our website. So that's it for this lesson. And in the next lesson, we're going to go over the third party integrations.